What's going on out there, good people? It is your boy Look Around with LMD Trading, and we are back. We are back at it again with another daily trade review. But before we do that, I want to show y'all a trade that I just missed, man. A killer trade. Look right there. Do you see where that MACD indicator crossed the RSI? And the Fibonacci retracement was at a perfect 45. I cannot believe I missed that. <laughs> oh man, y'all know that that ain't my setup. All I need is price, volume, and maybe a couple of indicators just to confirm a trade. Found this picture online and I like it. That's a nice picture. But today, y'all, today, y'all, I just was not quick enough. I was not quick enough today. Um, good solid day. We finishing up 1.5 R with the hundred dollar risk. Um, took some good trades today. Everything that you see going across that ticker should be green. Every one of those trades should have been green this morning. I'm gonna I'm show y'all something. I took a couple of um, screenshots from my video recording on mstr you see mstr going across there we down 58 50 on that today boom that's a screenshot from this morning look at that bad boy um we were up about a hundred dollars on this thing this was a trade that i had in the system pre-market and it triggered basically as the market opened this thing popped a hundred dollars this thing had a $3 spread. I'm looking, look at my face. I'm like, okay, we're doing okay. Let me show you what 30 seconds later would look like. Boom. Me cussing. Me like, what in the Sam Heasy? And me losing almost $100. I could not get my target down to try to make a hundred bucks on this thing. It turned and I lost a hundred dollars y'all. Uh, uh, uh. But guess what we did? We kept trading. Um, right after that, I took a trade on Yeti that made that hundred dollars back up. So it was all good. Let's go ahead. Let's pull up think or swim. Look at the thumbnail watch list real quick. Um, CPI day to day. Look at what the markets did. Look at what the markets did. Let's get that highlighter turned on. Um, look at that huge gap up. SPY and the QQQs. And look at what everything has done. Everything is kind of just grinded up. AstraZeneca took a huge dump. But the rest of these charts don't look too, too bad. Um, this one, I'm going to have to kick myself snow we made three dollars and 62 cents on this thing wait till you see that one on the review uh, what's another one um that might have been it snow might have been the only one that i kind of really have to kick myself on so let's go ahead let's get trader view pulled up boom let's get out of there reviewing trades for thursday november 10th Tomorrow's Veterans Day. I thought the market was closed tomorrow, but it looks like we will be trading tomorrow. Good job. Took a total of seven trades today. Closed PL 153.70. This is what we traded. FNGU pre market trade. We got in this thing at 835. 835. Decent trade. MSTR. We just got a good laugh out of that one. Um. This is not right. This is not right. We were actually up over a hundred dollars. So that's why I was saying um, trader view numbers be off a little bit because on the ladder, we were up a hundred bucks, lost a full R came back, traded Yeti. We made an R that was pretty much like a scalp trade. Snow got scared out of snow. We got scared out of snow. Watch when you see this one on the video. Came back, went back to um, FNGU, quick little scalp, MSTR. We went back to F, 
MSTR, another quick little scalp. Left a little bit of money on the table on that one. And then we traded PBR for another quick little scalp. This was like a scalpy kind of day with that CPI data causing the market to gap up as high as it did. Um, the SPY right now is up 4.5%. Um, the Q's is up almost 6 Tesla is up 7 NVDA is up 10%. Everything, everything, everything is killing. SPY is sitting right at the area that I, I've been watching for um, a swing option play. But let's go ahead. Let's get Thinkorswim pulled up. Let's get these trades reviewed. Uh oh, I don't see my camera. There's my camera. All right, let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. You see the SPY here? Look at that huge gap. That huge gap up on the SPY this morning. Um, where are we going to start first? First trade, FG, FNGU. Not going to see anything on this because we got in it pre-market. Um, do we got show trades turned on? Uh, there, there, there. I need to save this layout so that it saves it. There we go. There we go. And I'm going to turn on pre-market real quick just to look at this one. So got in pre-market. Right there, 42.32. Getting in right there. Da, 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 da. Is that right? No, you big dummy. Let's do a second trade. This was the first trade. Getting in 4161. Right there. Look at this nice two minute three bar play. Got in and we got out of this a couple of times. There was a gentleman asked me in the comment section, why don't I scale out of trades? That's something that I really have to work on. But pre-market, I'm able to do it because I don't have brackets in the system. So I took 100 shares. And then I took another 100 shares. And then I just scaled my way out of those orders. As it failed this area, we see that this thing just kept going. Man, man, man. But that was our first trade on FNGU. Good solid entry on the three bar play. Basically got out for one R. That was another R right there. But pre-market. Nope. Let's just take what that chart has given us. Let's make that money and let's keep it moving. We'll take a look at the second trade since we're already here. Um, got in this one. This is a little aggressive. That's why I got in and got right back out again. This one, it was a strategic entry. Let's take a look at it on the one minute real quick. Um, That's still an aggressive entry. Still aggressive. Why? Da, 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 da. Is it not showing the entries? Uh, uh I tell y'all, man. Think a swim could be fidgety. There we go. Or it may not show them on the one minute. I don't know. I don't know. But getting in as this breaking and holding this area. And just kind of just scalping it out. Could have stayed in it a little bit longer. But I really was done. Really was kind of done. But decent trade right there. Uh, we do see that this thing is still grinding higher. Getting in right there. Stop was probably right around here. Probably would not have stopped out. And this thing is still grinding its way up. 
But like I said, small, very small position on this one. Let's take a look at the next trade. MSTR. Now I can go ahead. Um, this one, I had the entry in the system on a hourly three bar play. And this thing triggered way before that hourly um, candle had closed out. So got in right there. This thing pushed up. Stopped us out full. 184.51. You won't even see like where the stop is at. Because again, this was off of an hourly chart. And it was a trade that didn't set up for the hourly three bar play. But I should have got out for that hundred dollars up there, y'all. Should have took that small, that small gain right there. Um got back in it over here, 194.46. This one here was solely on momentum. This thing had held this area and was pushing. Look at where I got out at. Let's see, 195.80. It just tells you. We'll drop it right there. So I got out at 195.80. What's the high of that candle? The high of that candle was 197. We'll call it 197.80. So that's $2 on 30 shares. That was $60. So I was back even on this trade. I was back even, or not on the trade, but on the stock. I was just trying to see if I can't maximize it. Came down, stopped me out, and then it did go a little bit higher, and then it's just kind of rolled over the rest of the day. So that was our second trade on MSTR. Just trying to scout back some of that money that we had lost. Let's go ahead, take a look at Yeti take a look at Yeti and now I could turn off the um, extended hours on here why is this not showing trades there we go got in this one 38.17 38.17 where you at let's drop that candle right there um, not seeing nothing here let me go ahead. Let me drop where I got out at 39.32 or 39.22. And then I'll go ahead and turn on the one minute. So just getting in on momentum again. It's breaking. And in the video, you'll hear me tell Evan. I'm just taking a quick scalp on this thing. Good push up. Good exit out. Now, I don't see the bubble saying that that's the high, so let's do that. It's finally, finally way over here getting back up to that high. And look what it's using. Technical analysis. It's using this candle right here as resistance. But all I wanted was the quick scalp. Made 100 bucks on that trade real quick. And that was the type of morning that this was. You couldn't really try to sit and hold nothing on a real pattern. I just was trying to get these quick scalps out the way. This one here, though. This one here, though. This one here, though. Got in here, 141.74. Drop that right there. As it's breaking, this candle... Got out 141.89. We'll drop a candle there as it's somewhat rejecting this area. Um, Late on the entry, but you can look at it two ways. Could have got in right there and worried about it rejecting or get in when it's holding. So it went, it broke over. It came back down. I want to get in when it's holding. So it held. We got this perfect, perfect shakeout candle. 
That was a perfect shakeout candle. We gave this thing super amounts of room to where this candle didn't shake us out. That should have been a sign to stay in. Got out right there. Rip. Utter rip. Let's do some numbers real quick. So we in at 141.75 with 25 shares. Let's just go to right there. That's 146. That's four dollars on a hundred shares on twenty-five shares. That's a hundred dollars. Cause this was a scout. That's a hundred dollars. We up four R. We up four R on that trade. And let's actually let's switch it back over to the two. That's I like looking at the two. Don't really like trading off the one. So look at that. This was the actual entry now that we look at it because I didn't take this off the two minute. Just notice that. So entry stop is down there. Let's see what that candle is. That candle is $1.61. We probably gave this $2 because we bought 25 shares. So we was risking $50 half position. So we would have needed this to go a dollar. That would have been one forty two eighty nine. Make sure. Yep. Needed to go a dollar. Actually, no, we needed to go four dollars. Needed to go. Wow. What are you talking about, dude? You're all over the place. That was the entry. So, yeah, we didn't get in off that shakeout candle. What are you talking about? So enter in there. Stop is down there. Highlight that candle. Look at that, though. It's the same. Dollar sixty one range. Dollar sixty one range. Two dollar stop. Twenty five shares. Getting in. This thing. Rips. So. We needed 145, 145.71. Again, we catching target right there for $100. So, yeah, 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 that one hurt. All right, last one, PBR. Let's check out PBR. Entry 1120. We'll drop it right there. We got out 1121 right there. Kind of got scared out of this one. So this came up, rejected, came up, retesting. We get in, stops down there. Let's check this one out. Five cents. We got 2,000 shares. We are in this thing full. We need 10 cents. So we need 10 or we need 1130. Target. Target. Uh. So definitely left money on the table. But in this market today, I had the mindset of let's just scalp these trades especially after mstr did what it did to us but that was our morning nice decent morning uh making 1.5 r again could i have made more money i definitely could have made more money and man this doggone camera got my head shining but um yeah definitely could have made some more money today but as a new trader, I'm still trying to figure out these different um, CPIs and all these different reports. So um, seeing how that thing had gapped the market up as much as it did today, I didn't really want to overstay my welcome on a lot of these trades, not knowing when the flush was coming or if a flush is coming. We still ain't seen the flush, so it might not be coming. But... Please 
please, please, please go ahead and like this video if you have not already. Thanks for checking me out as always. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. Did you make any money on these huge moves today? The market is just doing what it's doing today. Um, I traded an hour today. I was good with that. Um, last trade that I took was at 1029 um, and just staying disciplined. So are you staying disciplined? That's another thing. Are you patient? Are you staying disciplined, waiting for those trades to kind of come to you? I feel that I did that for the most part today. Most of the trades that I took were kind of well thought out, kind of thought them out. Um, but we'll be back at it again tomorrow. I thought that the market would be closed on Veterans Day. The market is not. So we will be right back here at Trade Central, looking at all of them screens in my background, looking for the MACD to cross over, um, looking for the Fibonacci retracement to do what the heck it wants to do. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. Peace, y'all.